Hi friends, welcome back. Uh, we will see a full wave rectifier circuit today uh, using diodes. And here, this circuit is also known as breeze wave rectifier um, or full wave rectifier. Uh, this circuit fully rectifies uh, the input signal. Um, and let's see what happens when we run the circuit. Here you can see the current in the emitter. It increases to a maximum value and then it decreases to zero and again increases to maximum value and again decreases to zero. Right here you can see uh, the bulb is uh, glowing and then turning off and again glowing and then turning off so here in the circuit mm, during first positive half cycle during positive half cycle this uh, diode D1 and D3 will be conducting or they will be in forward biased mode and uh, diodes D2 and D4 will be in reverse biased mode that means during first half cycle of this AC uh, signal, AC voltage source, diodes D1 and D3 will be conducting. And during negative half cycle of this AC source, uh, diodes D2 and D4 will be conducting, whereas diodes D1 and D3 will be non conducting. Or uh, during the negative half cycle, diodes D2 and D4 will be in forward biased mode and diodes D1 and D3 will be in reverse biased mode. Uh, what I mean to say is um, during positive half cycle uh, the current will flow this way. See? It will start from here and it goes to this point and now this diode D2 uh, this is for first positive half cycle and uh, it's reverse biased so uh, the current cannot pass through this diode so it goes this way and moves to this lamp and then goes this way this point and it passes through D3 and then this way and then enters this alternator and during negative half cycle this D1 and D3 will be mm, reverse biased and D2 and D4 will be conducting and the direction of current will be like this uh, from yeah from the here uh, this will be positive yeah from here and then the enters this D2 and then goes up and the direction will just be opposite during negative half cycle so let's uh, I just showed you right for positive half cycle the current reaches to maximum right it's 0 0.9 something and now negative half cycle it decreases to 0 right uh, so let me show you the simulation on oscilloscope also Here I have connected two inputs uh, to channels A and D and the output uh, to channel. I have connected two channel input channels this alternator to A and B and the output line to the channel D. Um, and to see the simulation on oscilloscope we need a higher frequency signal. So let's make it three, 300 hertz.
and now let's uh, now we don't need this because we are going to see the simulation on this oscilloscope we are going to see the graph so you can see here uh, a fully rectified wave right here this uh, yellow graph is the graph of this uh, alternator or AC voltage source this blue graph indicates the um, graph of this lower alternator or AC voltage source and this green uh, graph indicates the output of this breeze rectifier right and it's uh, we have taken the output at channel D and here channel D is shown in green line yeah and you can see the output is a full wave full rectified wave so um, Mm, so let's see this lamp again here you can see the lamp does not glow continuously um, at a time the current is zero right and at that time this bulb turns off right just before we saw now the current is decreasing to zero volts zero ampere and now so um, we need a continuous current through this bulb right mm, and what will we do for that Uh, if we want a continuous current to flow through this bulb then we will add a capacitor I'll show you here by adding a capacitor you'll make sure that a continuous current is flown through this bulb and we have to select a suitable value of the capacitor now you will uh, see mm, the current will not be zero the current will not go down to zero that means uh, this lamp will be uh, supplied the current continuously so let's see now the current has uh, reached the maximum value nine about 93 right now it will decrease but not to zero you can see right it decreased up to 0 0.42 and then again started increasing that means uh, the current never becomes zero or this uh, we can have uh, a continuous current flow through this bulb and it will never turn off you can see uh, by adding this capacitor and this effect of adding a capacitor is also called soothing effect Uh, you can see the bulb will keep on glowing though its uh, brightness will little bit decrease and again increase but it will never um, be off the bulb will never be off right so uh, that's that's it hope you like the circuits Mm, I'll see you soon with another circuits. Till then, bye.